What's going on, y'all? Crazy Pop. And today, we have something really, really different for you. We have been challenged by New Horizons to make a meatloaf on the Blackstone. Now, the reason for the challenge is, if you go check out New Horizons, great YouTube channel, man. I, I love them. They're great people. Check out Jim and Susan over there. Uh, they run a YouTube channel, but like RVing for disabilities and hiking and different things. Uh, they're officially go full-time RVing. So their challenge is they have a Blackstone. They're trying to make different different menu items, different things, if you will, that they can cook at campsites. Well, guess what? They challenged me to make a meatloaf. They did an awesome job on theirs. The link is down below in the description. Be sure to go check out their channel here in a little bit. But, you know, hey, I've been challenged. I have no choice. I got to do this. Got to do it. Got to make a meatloaf on the Blackstone. We've been, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to say we cheated, we practiced a little bit, and got it kind of like we want it, and we're going to show you how to do that tonight. But before we do, be sure to, while you're down in that description, checking out New Horizons link, check out our links also. We have Facebook and Instagram, a Pinterest, a Twitter, we got a snail mail, we got an email, we got all kinds of things down there. There's a Blackstone Griddle playlist down there if you want to see other cooks that we have done. Um, also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have hit it, hey, I appreciate it, man. We got so many people in here. That's coming back and just giving us a lot of feedback, and we're loving it. We're loving it. Don't think I forgot about your, your suggestions. I, I'm, I'm still working on those. So if you have any more suggestions, let us know. If not, let us know what you think about this. I mean, this is kind of different. It's not something you normally see cooked on a Blackstone. So let's see how it's going to turn out. Before we start showing you how to mix the meatloaf up, we got to get this grill fired up. But now, remember, we're showing you how we make our meatloaf. I'm sure you got your own recipe for it, and that's great. Use your recipe however you want to do it. We're just going to show you how we make ours here at the Crazy Acres. You know, it's just standard meatloaf, whatever. But the video is really going to be about how to cook it on the Blackstone. So let's get showing you how to do everything. Okay, before we fire this bad boy up, we got to show you what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually set the pan of meatloaf on here, on top of the griddle top. Now, these cooling racks, we got them at Walmart, I think, and I think there's a link down below in the description. These are just your basic cooling racks. We're going to set them on here. That's how we're going to cook. We're going to close the lid down, cook it like an oven. But, hey, we can't cook nothing on a cold griddle. Let's fire this thing up, y'all. Now, what we're going to be doing is cooking on about a medium all the way across all four burners. And what it's going to do is kind of let that heat just kind of build up in there and cook this meatloaf. To make the crazy meatloaf, <laughs> that's what we're going to call it, we got about three pounds of uh, ground chuck. Got one pack of some saltine crackers. Got roughly a cup of onions. Uh, let's see what we got back here. Got some garlic powder. We got some pepper. We got, of course, you have to have ketchup with meatloaf. And we got some Worcestershire sauce. That stuff there. All right, let's get to mixing. Let's get to making a meatloaf. In case y'all wonder who beautiful hands them are. That's my crazy nana. That's my beautiful wife who does not want to be on the video. She got them palm olive hands. She's a hand model. It looks like we're going. Now, here's the thing about our, our recipe. We do not really measure our meatloaf. It's just something she knows how to do. So we got one pack of saltine crackers. some black pepper on the crackers. Hmm, that's a different take. Use about that much black pepper. I have no clue how much that was. Open up the ground chuck. Why don't I call it got ground tom or something? Why it's gotta be chuck? Okay, so far we got a pack of crackers. Three pounds, three, three pounds. Three pounds of ground chuck. What now, crazy nana? Cup of onion, some yellow onion. We're gonna use the whole cup. All right, right at a cup. It's maybe more or less a cup. Get that Worcestershire sauce, 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 and put it to it. That's the good stuff there, y'all. Yeah, buddy. Right, 
And I will, ooh, gonna put the catch up. And y'all, I know you noticed, we're not using the high dollar ketchup or the high dollar Worcestershire sauce or the high dollar garlic. Now, if you want to use all that stuff, that's perfectly fine. Uh, about a tablespoon, I'd say, maybe, of some garlic. And throw the crackers in. Now, a lot of people I've seen use breadcrumbs, but we use crackers. And now you just mix. Mix it, mix it, mix it. I forgot one other thing in the ingredients. I thought it was her coffee back there. It's actually one, one bottle cup maybe of some hot water. Maybe not quite a cup. I'll pour it in there. Okay. Just uh, maybe a quarter of a cup. Don't really know. Like I said, we really don't measure a whole lot on the meatloafs. We just know when it's right. All right, once you got it formed up like you like, it's gonna be ready to throw on the Blackstone. All right, the meatloaf is mixed up. Griddle's good and hot. Time to get this meatloaf on here. Watch this. Oh yeah. Still got all three burners on a medium heat. Time to put on the meat. So we're gonna set that right there. Close this lid down. We're gonna come back and check it in just a little bit. It's been about 30 minutes. Let's check on this thing. Oh, yeah. Y'all got to see this up close. Man, that is looking good. That is looking really good. Okay, it's looking good, but it's not done yet. Let's close it back down, let it cook some more. It's been about 50 minutes. This thing ought to be about getting ready to pour some grease off of it and put some ketchup on. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's looking right. I right, so we pour some of the grease off, put some ketchup on there, let that ketchup sit. It's gonna be time to eat. Really ain't that much grease in there. Pretty good. Of course this is ground chuck. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, we're gonna put some ketchup on this stuff now. Now we got some finicky people in our household who don't like ketchup on meatloaf, I, ain't, I know, they're weird. So we're only gonna do half ketchup, half not ketchup. Well, a little more than half, because you know, we don't care if they like ketchup. Let's let this bake for a little bit. So let me know down below if you want ketchup on yours or not. All right, y'all. This is my favorite part. Man, this thing is done. At least I think it is. Let's check on it. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. How do I know? Well, I don't. We got to try it. Let's cut the heat off. Let it cool down a little bit. And we're going to try this. All right, y'all. It's the moment of truth. But before everybody else shows up, I'm going to try this. But before we try it, be sure to go check out New Horizons. They're the one who got me to do this. Links down below. Thank you so much, Jim and Susan, for suggesting this. I'm gonna find a new way of cooking meatloaf. So if you wanna try this at your campsite, your RV site, or just down by the lakeside, wherever you may be camping or whatever you may be doing, meatloaf can be done on the Blackstone. But I'm saying it can be done because it looks good. We gotta try it. So let's try some. Cut this little piece here out. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Oh, yeah. Moment of truth. Let's see how it is. Oh, it's so... Oh, yes. Good and tender. Well. 
perfect. Man, I, man, this is good. This is really good. I gotta have another bite, y'all. Mmm. Y'all, I know it's not something you normally cook on a Blackstone, but you can. You know, Blackstones are so versatile and they're great for camping. Now, I did do this on my big 36 inch, but if you have a lid, you don't need 22, you're 28, you're 17, you can do the meatloafs. So that being said, if you try it, let me know. I would love to know how this turned out for you. You know, like I said, you ain't gonna use our recipe. Use your own, whatever, that's fine. But now, we use the cooling rack, use the pan, easy cleanup, easy peasy, didn't even make the, he didn't even make the Blackstone dirty. Isn't that awesome? Jim and Susan, thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Y'all go check out Jim and Susan. I promise you, you'll love their channel. Check out all the links down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. You know, leave us a comment. Let us know something. And we'll see you next time.